Hey, so in this video I will show you how to make Thüringer Bratwurst at home. First of all, before I start with my recipe, there are a lot of different recipes out there. That's why I also link three more in my article below. But for now, let's start with my recipe. As meat, we need pork back fat, pork belly, and also pork shoulder. And then for the spices, first of all, we have salt. And then we have mace, paprika, and a bit of lemon zest. And then we have caraway and marjoram, black pepper, allspice, and to bind it together we need cutter phosphate and some crushed ice later on. Okay, first cut the fat and the meat into stripes. The size can vary depending on how big your meat grinder is. You can then put the spices into a spice grinder. Crush them up nicely and then mix it together with the salt. Also add the lemon zest and the other spices and mix everything together until it's evenly incorporated. This mixture we now give to the meat, massage it in and then put it into a freezer for one to two hours afterwards. Once the meat is frozen on the outside, we can put it into the meat grinder. I take the smallest perforated disc for this and let it run through. You can also let it run through twice, that will make the next step easier. Speaking of the next step, it's time to get the crushed ice ready um, and put the sausage mass into a food processor and then start it and let it mix. Now you can add the cutter phosphate and gradually add the crushed ice and then always check the temperature. The mass shouldn't be higher than 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And you chop it till you have like a very fine mass, like you can see here. It should have a very nice binding. And that's when we go to the next step. Put the casings onto your filler Tie it off at the beginning. Yep. Yep. That works. Nope. Okay. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Now I have it. Okay. Finally. <laughs> then you can get the mass into the casing. Just fill everything step by step into it. And then it's time to link the sausage. Just pinch it with your finger. and kind of rotate it to the front and then rotate it to the back. And yeah, you can decide which length you want. Just make sure that they are not too full because otherwise they will burst when you fry them. Okay, they are ready. You can either poach them or fry them. Uh, what I will do now, I fried them up. They look nicely. And now it's time to actually try the sausage. Fork and knife being civilized today. Let's cut into it and see if it has a nice binding. Yeah, and as you can see, very fine sausage. Bind it well. Let's try it. Yeah, normally I'm not a fan of fine sausages, but this one actually tastes pretty good. You can taste the different spices and uh, also the lemon zest comes out, gives it a bright note. Yeah, definitely can recommend it. If you want the recipe, uh, it's in the description below. Uh, also, if you like the video, give me a like, uh, a comment or subscribe to the channel for weekly free sausage recipes. Yeah, see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.